Good morning, guys. What they mean, I've been telling you guys like 10 times. Earnings growth, revenue growth, next year's estimates. Maybe I should put it in my about page because I keep getting the question. Yeah, from Market Smith. You tried knockoff for the first time, so disappointed. Let's see, where is the block button? How do you block people? Hmm. <laughs> Overpriced the sell? Okay, guys, I need to. Where? I, how can I ban, ban this guy? <laughs> uh, Noko trader, do you agree? Should I should I uh, ban Miss Problem? Take him out. <laughs> we we don't like any alternative uh, opinions here. I only like uh, yes sayers. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding, guys. I know. Like the thing is, I mean, there's really nothing special about these energy drinks. It's just you get addicted to them. That's the problem. Like I personally, I get addicted to them. Because there's so much, so much caffeine in it. It's not like they're oh super great. They're not. Uh, which flavor did you try? Which one? My favorite is uh, is the sugar. There is no sugar. It's sugar free. But yeah, it it tastes very sweet though. They would actually be better if they weren't this sweet. Luke is hungry. Nah, he just want to play. Yeah, what, what uh, passion? Uh, yeah, that's not one of the better ones. Try legend. I liked uh, and also ice. Uh, what is it? Ice something. Legend is my favorite. I'm actually gonna crack one open in a few minutes. It's waiting for me. Ice cold. Oh, there's only three different. Okay. Chocolate. Yeah, chocolate is good too. Black coffee? Oof, I, I'm not really a black coffee type of guy. If I drank black coffee, I would probably not survive. <laughs> Trying limon today? Limon is okay. I, yeah, limon is okay. All right, so we had another vaccine Monday, last Monday. As you remember, I lost 3 million pre-market when uh, the Pfizer BNTX vaccine news hit and now we have mRNA uh, announcing their phase 3 vaccine news um, and we are is we are at the exact same thing is happening tech is down not as much as last Monday last Monday was insane this is last Monday let's look at the queues was an insane. We had a big gap up. We we were had an even bigger gap up pre market. Like the queues were up much higher in pre market. Had a sharp two day sell off. Found support on the rising ten day, and now we're only kind of break even pre market. While all these uh, airlines and cruise lines are all all up again. But again, I don't believe in the airline cruise line theme. I don't think these things can go much higher. They're so bloated. They they've diluted a lot, and their market caps are like not much smaller than they were earlier this year. 
Uber and Lyft are doing great. You know, one trade I missed last Monday was this Uber. This thing had an episodic pivot last Monday. And look at how tightly, it, at first it sold off a little bit, found support, and then uh, on Wednesday, it broke out of this tight, tight range, which also was the highest of Monday. I, I wish I was awake. This thing, and also it broke out of a long range, like a year long range. ADR, well, yeah, for, well, for me, this is perfect. It's a ultra liquid stock. Let's see here, Tesla failed to break down again. Um, I covered XBEV, locked in a nice, uh, I don't know, two or 300K, I don't remember. 200K, I think, or maybe 250, I don't remember. Uh, uh, where is, NIO, I added to the short right here, 45.55 or something like that. Uh, and those ads I covered into this flush. Uh, so I still have those 80,000 shares, which I, which I shorted in the mid 52s. I wish I had more, but you know, I, I think this thing could go down to 35, 30. I think it's gonna, they have earnings, I think to after hours. Um, but I have a lot of profit cash, so I'm not really worried in case it gaps up 20, 25, 30%. I think that's uh, gonna be another short opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they are dropping, yes. <clears throat> okay, so, but I'm seeing a lot of, we'll see how the growth stocks and tech stocks, how they uh, handle this uh, a gap, a little gap down. Uh, there's a lot of things are setting up. This Snapchat is building a high tight flag. Uh, Mercado Libre is building a nice little flag here. Amazon is in a long, long flag. This thing looks really good on a weekly chart. Uh, I think next leg higher is going to go to 4,000. Then we have the Solar, CSIQ, EMPH, uh, SPWR, RUN. Uh, RUN doesn't look as good. Um, yeah, and I also took a starter TQQ long late day on Friday with a little bit of a wider stop. And I'm willing to add to this thing. Uh, because if we get a tech, if we get a rally, in, you know, in, in year end, this TQQ could easily go to 200. I'd like to be there. Celsius, it looks great, building higher lows in the 60 minute chart. And yeah, everything is, is looking good. Shady had earnings, it's gapping down, which is good. I'd like this thing to go sideways a few more days and then maybe break out. And yeah. I'm thinking if MRNA could be a short near the open, just like BNTX and Pfizer were when they announced uh, the vac their vaccine news. I think there could be a, a sell-off because MRNA has been running up for a couple of weeks now. It's up like 50% in two weeks. So there's that's the, maybe the only thing I'm going to... Focus on on the open. <clears throat> but um, it's not a high conviction play. I think there are a lot of things setting up. PDD, isn't it gapping down? Yeah, it's gapping down. I don't see anything here. If it had been gapping up to like, I don't know, 160 plus, that would have been a potential opportunity. But right now I don't see an edge. It's probably just gonna find, su find support here on the rising 10 EMA on the 60 minute chart. Probably, maybe not, but I don't know. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, guys, I, I have, uh, yeah, my, my um, flux is on, yeah, the blue light uh, reducing thingy, because it's, it's already dark here, it's dark outside. It's gonna be another mo more than a month before it starts getting lighter. Soul is dark in the basement. That's true. That's true. That's a good point. All right, time for Noko. So I'm gonna watch some of these things. There's a few long plays like Cron. It's kind of high tide flagging. It's a thinner, lower priced wheat stock, but you know I'll I'll do some of these. They look good. Mm. Kirk. Yeah, it's surfing the 50 day. If it breaks out of here, it's gonna be a good good setup. BLDP, yeah. Maybe if it breaks out on high volume. Plug is the leader. This thing is straight up, man. It's been a big miss for me a couple of times already. All right, let's see what we get here. Exas, looking good. Probably not gonna trade it, it's too thin for me. It's way too thin, I'm gonna remove it from my watch list, it's too thin. CGC, another weed stock, high tide flagging here. Too bad NIO is scapping down. I would have preferred a gap up. Scapping down like, what, 10%? No, 6, 7. I would have preferred a gap up for a good short opportunity. This now, we'll see. Maybe opening range lows or something. I'll add a little bit. Nothing crazy. <clears throat> okay, good luck, people. I did some mRNA on the opening range lows.
Uber and Lyft are intriguing. They're kind of breaking high tide flags, but I don't know. Are they gonna have follow through?
good price action in a lot of things so far. Tesla week again? Um, nah, I don't know. Just in a range. <clears throat> I got stopped out of this cron. I did a I did hundred thousand shares. So I took a small loss on it. <clears throat> it looked good, but then it reversed. I also did a hundred thousand shares of Uber. Uh, this one is working fine so far. Lyft is lagging a little bit, but Lyft is already up like eighty percent in a few weeks. I don't know. Kind of a big move. Thinking about buying more of these tech ETFs, TQQ or Techle, uh, we'll see. I'm not gonna go, nah, I'm probably gonna chill out. I'm not gonna be too aggressive.
CTC is holding up well though. Even though Kron kind of failed. Guys, we've been over this like five times. It's because I use a blue light filter. It's 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 dark outside. Here. It's dark outside. I have to use a blue light filter so I don't kill my eyes. That's why the uh, screen color is a bit weird. MRNA. Looks like I was pennies from getting stopped out. My thoughts on you? Um, I don't see anything here right now. It broke out of a okay looking setup on Friday on earnings, but today it's just in the middle of a range. If you're in from yesterday, it looks good, but I wouldn't do anything with it today. <clears throat> What is this thing? Uh, okay, fifty Solars are getting tighter and tighter. Tan is uh, building a high tide flag. EMPH is building a high tide flag. SPWR is building a high tide flag. CSIQ is building a flag. RKT, yeah, it's kind of a breaking out of a little bit of bottom type of a flag. Um, it looks okay. It looks okay. I'm gonna pass on it, but it looks it looks fairly decent. It had earnings a couple of weeks ago, good earnings, big numbers. It's kind of trying to break out of a little bit of a. It's a recent IPO. Could be good. <clears throat> Li, I don't see anything here. They just, they just uh, range bound now. These uh, shiny EVs. I'm short NIO, but the other ones I need to see. I need to see ranges to develop. 
Yeah, Seabet was a short setup. I didn't pay attention. It wasn't uh, I? I was hoping for more. I was hoping for double digits. But yeah, opening range lows. Or not opening range lows. Sorry. Or well, actually, yeah, there were two entries like opening range lows and the VWAP fail. But it wasn't tight. It was a tough, tough entry. And uh, again, I was. It wasn't a great setup. JD selling off on earnings, right? This China ETF Yin is also kind of high tide flagging here. Also, KWeb looks very good. The China overall is very strong. Several China stocks are reporting after hours, like YY and Baidu. So we'll see how they, what they report, and how they react. BLDP is trying to break out. I'm gonna pass on it because it has no momentum. It's been going sideways for like four months. Or actually, wait, it's it actually had a big move. Uh, this actually looks great on the weekly chart, though. Oh, mRNA looks like it took out lows of the day. It's doing exactly what BNTX and Pfizer did when they reported their data. And mRNA had a big run up into this. So I, I, I shorted 30,000 shares opening range highs. Haven't covered a, a single share yet. I'm going to cover some here. Yeah, BLDP is going now. I bought 30,000 shares. It doesn't look much on the daily, but on the weekly, this thing looks great. It's in a big flag. It's been building higher lows for since like June, and it has a range break, just trying to break out of this range. And it's a hot sector. Plug is going nuts. Plug, plug has been straight up for a, for a while now. So yeah, we'll see. CRM, yeah, it looks great, uh, but it's a slow stock. It's not really, um, well, yeah, actually it could work if it breaks out of here. Looks great. It's been going sideways and uh, maybe not the fastest stock.
TSM. And then OX. Yeah, if you can go sideways a bit more, would be nice. <clears throat> what I think about FSR, it's Fisker. Well, it's been straight up for a couple of weeks. It's up over 100%. It needs to go sideways. I don't see a long or a short here right now. What higher lows means? Yeah, it means accumulation. Higher lows means every time a stock goes down, it stops at a higher level than the previous time, which means there is uh, demand on the stock. Man, the colors are getting really weird now. There's something wrong with the flux. The colors are the colors are off. Recommended colors, is it better now? Far from the equator? Yes, I would say I'm far from the maybe classic flux, is it better now? Okay, now it looks better. The colors uh, reappeared. I, I looked at my tweet deck and I could, couldn't read the text because everything kind of mel melted together. Windows has a built-in, I know, but I've been using Flux since before Windows had it built-in. This software ETF IG, IGV is flagging too. It's been building higher lows for like five months. It's getting tighter. Like, I, I really think, like, I see a lot of bullish action in the indices and a lot of the leading stocks, too. Not all of them, but in, in a lot of them. So, right now, I'm uh, much, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of bullish overall. But that can obviously change at any, at any time. Uber is fading now, BLDP is... Oh, come on. I think it's gonna fade now. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm probably not gonna do much more today. Because I just don't see much to do here. I think tomorrow is gonna be a busy day. A lot of China stocks report and also NIO. I hope it gaps up a little bit. Tesla is now fading. Tesla is in a downtrend now. It, it can't get above its uh, declining 20 EMA. Oh wait, this oh the solars are going now. Hmm. I don't want them to go yet. Damn, I wish I had my SPWR. My hundred thousand shares from like seventeen sixty or something. Gosh. Why did I sell it? Why didn't I stick to the sell rules? Did I get stopped out of Tesla? Well, since I'm not in it anymore, uh, that means yes. It closed kind of. It closed strong on Friday. 
If it had closed weak, if it closed near the lows of the day, I would have held it over the weekend, but it closed strong. It uh, built a wick, just like it did on this day here and this day here, right? I don't like to hold losing positions overnight. When do I plan on getting on CG, in on CGC? Well, when I see a good setup. That's when. Do I still own LAC? Well, do you see it in my positions box? Guys, I think some of you need to review the instructions on the screen. Hard to read it? How small monitor do you have? No, I don't own LAC. I haven't. Uh, I sold it like last week or the week before. What does it look like now? It's building higher lows. Um, I don't see a setup here though. PLL isn't that another lithium name? Oh, this is too thin. Thirteen point three. You should consider getting an extra screen. I think trading from uh, one screen is very hard. It's doable, but it's very, very hard. It's, it's nice if you can have shards on one screen and uh, trading your account on uh, another screen, order entry. Tesla, is it breaking down? No, no it's not. It is building lower highs though. But if it starts violating, yes, uh, sorry, Friday's lows, I may, um, get back in like I said before like if this thing either way it breaks out of this uh, wedge it's gonna go up or down 30 40 percent I I think I, lift this thing looks interesting I'm already in uber um, so I'm not gonna do lift but this is also breaking out of this high tight flag just like uber but I would, I, I wish I had entered Uber here, 4230s. Snapchat gapped below the 20 day, and now it's green on the day, built another higher low. This thing is, this thing looks juicy. This thing starts breaking out of that 41 area, I think it goes to 50 or maybe even 60 or something. Okay, AMD looks good. Man, th there's so many good setups developing. There are so many good setups developing. SPWR is going now. Oh, I don't even want to look at it. What about the EMPH? Yeah, this one too. I would have preferred a few more days sideways on this, but you know. <clears throat> I bought a little bit more BLD B. The whole sector is eating up. Fuel cell is up, BE, plug is, just keeps grinding higher. JKS, JKS is setting up, but they have earnings tomorrow. I don't know if, if it's pre-market or, let's see. No, wait, here it says, no, this is wrong data. 
uh, but they have earnings tomorrow. I don't know if it's pre-market or after hours. But uh, if you can go sideways today and then break out tomorrow on earnings, or sorry, go sideways today and tomorrow and then break out on earnings, that's something I would trade. This is a very high momentum stock. You know, next leg higher, it goes to 100. Why not? Right, Lordstown. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, what's MRNA doing? Okay, I missed my second cover. Maybe I should cover some here. on W. Yeah, solar so strong. They are. Wait, did did I turn the blue light filter off completely? Tupperware? What's going with Tupperware? Oh, it's going higher. MMEDF, yeah. I'd, I want to tuck some away uh, for a longer term, but it's so thin, like, I mean, <laughs> you, you know, if, I mean, how much can you buy of this thing? Like a few hundred thousand shares, maybe? It, it, this thing would have to go up like 500%. I don't know. But it's an intriguing play. NIO, since I have a lot of profit cushion in it, yes, I'm gonna hold it over, over the earnings. Ideal scenario, it gaps up to like 50 or something, gets rejected there, and then goes back, goes to 40. But it may not. AMD breaking out? No, it's not. It, it, it's it's below Friday's highs. How can it be breaking out? It's just inside a range. <laughs> yes, well, hold is something else. Yes, it is holding. What sort of virus? Oh, what did QDEL do today on this news? Oh, it gap down. Yeah. I still, uh, I still remember the QDEL gap down. Man, that was no fun. I think I lost 450k on it.
Yeah, Beely had a breakout. It was kind of an inside of a base breakout, but man, this is breaking out with such a... Oh, I hate when it happens. I hate when they break out before the earnings. I hate it. I hate it so much. This is like... the. It's such a good-looking base. It's been going sideways for like six months with higher lows. And, oh. Not happy about it at all. The container store, yeah, it looks good. Container store is a, it's a really nice looking flag. Ultra thin, but very good. Next leg higher, I think a good of 15 or something. Grow generation. This one is going higher. Celsius still building higher lows. Nasdaq looks good. I bought a little bit more of TQQ. Uh, I added to Fridays and tr uh, from what I bought on Friday. So I have 30,000 shares now. Mealy still building higher lows. This one looks gonna be interesting for later this week. Amazon is looking interesting. This one could easily go to 4,000 before year end if it breaks out. Nvidia looks good. Oh, they report on, the, uh, on two days. Shopify doesn't look good though. Square looks good. This thing is. If it can hold the 10 day, would be nice. Twilio is setting up. If we can give Sidus a few more days, it's surfing the 100 day here. Pinterest could go sideways for a bit more. Roku looks good. Could go sideways a couple more days. QLcom looks great. Slower type of stock. Just flagging here after earnings. Snow looks good. Slower type of stock though. SC, I'm long. It actually violated my stop. I didn't even see it. I didn't have a hard stop in, so I'm still in it. But if I had a hard stop in, I would have gone stopped out. Snapchat looks great. Ma yeah, Melee looks great. Th there's a TTD looks good. CrowdStrike TTD. Gap below the 10 day held and now it's back into this range. Man, there's so many good looking setups for later this week. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get excited. I'm starting to get excited, guys. Pen is setting up. I mean, it's just so many things setting up. This work day. Ah, oh, it's too slow. This Okta, if we can break over this 228 area. It's been going sideways for like six months with higher lows. It's ready for another leg higher to 300 plus. <clears throat> I see a lot of positives. I do see a lot of positives. Koopa, another growth name. You can break over this 299. Exas is still setting up. The 20 days now almost has almost caught up. So this thing is ready. This thing is ready. All right. 
GME. Yeah, breaking out. Mm. It gapped down, flushed. Or actually, it didn't gap down, it gapped up, flushed, found support on a 50 day, and now it's trying to break out of this range. Question is if it can uh, get above the 20. WWR, isn't this a lithium stock? Wow, this looks, oh, graphite stock, let's see, is it thin? Yes, it is, super thin. But if you believe in um, the CV theme, this could be a good one. If I can look at OLN, uh, I don't see anything here. ALB, ALB had a good setup when it broke out on earnings. That was a good setup. And the weekly short looks it broke out of a nice flag. And now it's it's gone. It's gone now. It's another lithium name. Tan about to break out. I don't know, is it? Where is it? I have it on my watch list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks it's in still inside of a range, but it, SPWR and EMPH they're already going. Oh, without me, this hurts. This hurts. Yeah, Solar's are going now. AMD is trying to break out of this range. It's a white candle, so I don't think it's a good setup here. But uh, I don't know. It's a tricky one. And again, I don't want to go go too crazy uh, with uh, positions today. I think there's so many things setting up. If you miss a few, it's not a big deal. If we're gonna be have an end of year run, there's gonna be many things. Go hundreds and hundreds of stocks going up 50, 100 percent before year end. Do, 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 do. Wait, now Lyft is holding up near highs while Uber is fading? Okay, makes sense. Yeah, SPWR, I, I sold it. I, I thought I was going to get stopped out of it. Like I got stopped out of EMPH. And I sold it near the lows. Where did I sell it? Like mid 18s? And that was pretty much it. And since it's been going higher since. <sighs> Stick to the sell rules, I guess. Yeah, Roku is setting up. It's one of the stocks that is setting up. A lot of these are built, are printing wide range candles today. And Roku really needs this like 236 break. 237 break. But it is setting up, yep. Snapchat may want to go today. Yeah, it may.
but I am tempted buying this tan. It's not really breaking out yet, but um, maybe do half size or something. This thing is, I mean, next leg higher is gonna go to a hundred or something. So I see a uh, solar after solar stock breaking out. Solar stock after solar stock. Net is green on the day. Yeah, it's a very wide range candle though. It would be nice if it went sideways tomorrow and a few more days and then broke out. It is flagging nicely. Tesla trying to go green, yeah. Tesla, there is something brewing here. I really hope this thing breaks out to the upside. It's getting so tight here. It's been building four tight range days in a row now. And if we can break out over this 423 area or 420 or whatever it is. It's building higher lows. But also lower highs. It's, it's a range of death here right now. <clears throat> ZDG it looks good looks like a good breakout but this is too thin it shouldn't even be on your scans but yeah I mean, the setup itself looks good guys you should probably use like a 10 even if those with you, of you with tiny accounts use like a 10 15 million dollar volume cutoff like there's no need to ever trade stocks that are super thin, that only trade a few million dollars worth of stock. There's just no point. You're gonna get too, so many stocks in your scans. If it took me, yeah, from where I started trading, it took me two years to become profitable. And another maybe three years or so to make my first million, I think, or two years. Yeah, it took me four or five years to make my first million from where I started trading. Yeah, first million is the hardest. After that, you're going to rack up million after million. It's going to get easy. First million is a bitch, and then second million, that, that's easy once you get to the first million. And once you get to the second million, the next two million are gonna get pretty, pretty fairly easy. Well, not easy, but you know, it's 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 not gonna take too long. Now he makes well. Last Monday, I lost three million in an hour. So, <laughs> but I I don't think I made a, a three million in an hour. I don't think I've even made a million in an hour. And now the solars are triggering one by one. My accounts were, I think, four and a half million at the start of the year. I think it was four and a half, I don't remember. Uh, 
Kirk. Yeah, it's breaking out. Looks good. Looks good. I killed it this year. Yeah, I did. But I, I'm looking back at my five biggest mistakes and I, I should probably up another million on the year. No, sorry, not a million. Five million. Easily. Easily. Yeah, Kodak was one. Kodak was a... Sh but also like, some of the names like where I... If I just followed my cell rules, like NVAX, for example. If I just followed my cell rules on that one, I would have made another million on it. Then there has been an, a couple of other ones where I, if I just had followed my cell rules, I would have made another million or two. And then I have some, uh, some like Kodak. If I had avoided Kodak, I would be up another one and a half million. If I, um, uh, like, I don't know. I mean, there, there's like so many, so many mistakes, so many mistakes. And that's fine. You can make a lot of money by not being perfect. What are those cell rules? Come on, really, guys? Guys, do you see the text here? Like, this is some pr pretty basic stuff. Follow the instructions, okay? Please. Please. You're disrespecting everyone by not doing that. Yeah, I know net. I don't see a setup here. It's just straight up. I don't see a setup here right now. What's C IGV doing? IG okay. I'm thinking about going long IGV when it starts breaking out. Set a uh, slow one, a slow name. But it can make a decent move. It could go up 30% before year end. This is like the software ETF. If this thing goes, a lot of the stocks are gonna, a lot of the growth stocks, they're gonna go. Because they're all in here. Well, QDEL wasn't a mistake. That was just unlucky. I don't count QDEL. I'm just counting mistakes. I'm, I was talking about mistakes. Here. Uh, this thing does not remind about Fastly at all. Or what do you mean? I don't see anything here. Silver, no, I'm not watching it, but I, okay. I mean, I guess I should be watching it. It's still building higher lows. It's getting tighter and tighter. What's gold doing? GDX, GDXJ, gold doesn't look as good. But yeah, silver, I put it back and watch. If it breaks out, it could go. It could make a big move. If I covered mRNA, nope. I only covered like uh, a little bit of shares. I shorted 30,000 shares and I covered 5,000. So I still have 25k. In case it goes back to sub 90 or something. Du -du 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 -du. So JD sold off on earnings, uh, and right now it's on the 20 day. Let's see if we can find support here on the 20 day. I think it needs another week or so, but it could be setting up. This has been one of the strongest stocks for months and months now. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing goes to 120 before year end. Have I ever traded crypto? I have invested in crypto, but I have never traded it per se. But I do I have traded GBTC, which I'm long now. It's a crypto ETF, Bitcoin ETF. 
yeah and if i if i had a dollar everyone every time i ha have uh, i had to uh tell people to follow instruction on the screen i would be up another million it's kind of funny Or actually it's not, it's kind of sad. <sighs> Why Riot and not Mara? Because Riot broke out and Mara did not. Simple as that. Now the wheat stocks are fading a little bit. Now these crews, or some of these crews and airlines are taking out highs, or at least cruise lines, but again, I don't really trust these things. <laughs> The FANG levered ETF building higher lows has a range here 200. Looks a bit interesting. It's a thin ETF, but um, you know, there's just so many bullish signs right now. Uh, yes, I used an offshore broker. At, in the beginning, I used Swedish brokers, but they were super expensive to trade with because they take a percentage, uh, like commission, instead of per share. And then I used SureTrader, uh, which was Bahamas based. I don't think they exist anymore. You have to, you do what you have to do to get around the PDT rule. Okay guys, I'm gonna cut the stream now. I need to eat something. Uh, sure trader was sketchy with executions. Well, the whole thing was a sketchy. It was sketchy. It took sometimes it took like a couple of weeks to get your money out. <laughs> they were super, like the worst customer service ever. But it worked. It worked to get around the PDT rule. And when I got to like 40, 50k, I I ditched them. Okay, guys, uh, see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining and good luck.